The final stage in any service is to put the pump back together again. Check that it starts OK and then put it back into your installation. Slide the magnet back into place between the two drive units in the centre of the core. Try to make sure that the magnet is as central as possible. If you have the spacers which come within the service kit, this will make your life quite a bit easier, but you still may need to use a flat bladed screwdriver to gently coax the magnets to align centrally. These magnets are pretty strong so you don't catch your fingers and avoid wearing watches or get them close to anything that might be badly affected by a strong magnetic field. Attach the first diaphragm onto the threaded end of the magnet, making sure that it's aligned correctly. Note the opening here, which matches up with the same feature on the casting. Take a firm grip on the valve box and screw all four Phillips screws back in to fix the valve box in place. Then reattach the pipe with its spring clip. Another tip here, slide the clip around so it points downwards. It may not seem like a big thing, but it will keep the clip well away from the external casing. This will avoid it buzzing against the casing when the pump is completely reassembled and started back up. Repeat exactly the same procedure for the other end of the pump. Remove the spacers. It's useful to keep the spacers from the service kits for future repairs as they aren't available separately. You'll need to make sure that the auto stopper switch is centralised. Actually it might already be OK, but it's worth just checking. The switch can be pretty stiff, so if it doesn't centralise by finger pressure alone, you might want to ease it over with a flat bladed screwdriver. If it's not centralised, when you reinstate the power supply to the pump, it will not restart. Now replace the internal core's top back down onto the core casing assuming your pump had one to begin with. Replace the acoustic padding and ensure the mains cable is reinserted into the top casing as shown here. Now lift the top casing back into place ensuring that you've not trapped any cables and replacing the nut, washer and bolt back in each corner of the casing. And you're done. Check the pump starts. If it doesn't, you'll need to take the power supply back off and go back a few steps to gain access to that auto-stopper switch, as it's quite likely to be the culprit if the pump doesn't restart.